The administration of Abdullahi Ganduje has been executing a rural access mobility project tagged Karkara Salama Alaikum Initiative. It involves the construction of routes in rural areas and portable water supply. The government is now executing the third phase of the program, which is the distribution of electricity transformers to rural areas across the state. I identified those very, very uh, serious communities, especially those communities that are involved in small and medium enterprises, to ensure that not only providing them with light, but also providing them with water, and also providing them with an enabling environment where they can conduct their businesses in a very profitable manner. The target, according to the state government, is to revive rural economy through massive infrastructure investments in areas with vibrant agricultural activities. Everybody knows the imperative of electricity to development, especially in our rural communities. That is why the present administration initiated this project to ensure that each and every community gradually gets power so that people can engage in economic endeavors capable of transforming their lives. This is the first batch of 100 transformers for 100 uh, communities in Kanu State. The next batch will follow not uh, very soon, inshallah. Meanwhile, the state government is hopeful that the beneficiaries will make judicious use of the facilities in order to boost rural economic activities. From the data that we have collected, there are so many towns and villages that are not getting electricity due to the absence of transformers. Some of the transformers got spoiled for many years, some have even been removed, and some that are not even existing. Therefore, we decided to take a record of those towns and villages that will require transformers. I'm happy to inform you that our first batch is 100 transformers, which is costing us over 500 million. With the ongoing construction of Kano Independent Power Project in Tika and Chalawa dams, it is expected that most agrarian rural communities in Kano will soon see the lights of economic transformation. Idris Jibrin, Channels Television News.